What's up everyone, this is Joe Savvy. Now this is a cast from Izzy, the other side of the Thor Rush, uh, second part of video number 161 where I live casted a game where I got my ass kicked by a Thor Rush. So now let's steal this dude's build and let's start doing it all over the place because if he could kick my ass that easy and I went standard marine opening with a Thor Rush, then it's, you know, the build has to have some validity, it has to have some, uh, some merit. So uh, it starts out Simple enough, normal enough, and that's with a 10 depot. Followed up with a 12 racks. So he beat me pretty bad, and um, if you're not familiar with the with the uh, replay, you can watch it, number 161, where I live casted the game. 12 racks, followed up by a 13 refinery. I'll leave the build order in the description as well. So builds like this, uh, there are specific timings that you can get everything out. Um, when you just play, like I typically do, it's really just as you have the money, you know, you build this, and then when you got the money, you build that, and you just macro and build STVs nonstop and that kind of thing. Um, for a build like this, though, it's it's very tight. Um, everything's based off of gas. Um, he's sending my first STV up. Did you see Joe Savvy? There you go. There he is. Moving up into the base, trying to scout. I scout. Oh shit! There's gas. That means I need barracks. His aggression's coming. Well, when you're ver when you're facing a Thor rush, um, Marines are almost worthless. You need Marauders. And the guy told me that. I asked him afterwards. I'm like, how do you stop that? Because I've always lost to a Thor rush anytime I fast expanded. So and he's closing up his wall at 17 supply, getting a Marine out, orbital on the way at 17 supply. So he didn't do it at 16. Orbital at 17. Take a note of that. So send it, or so I can post it up on YouTube. Um, with that same SCV, it looks like he's doing something else. Okay, so that first SCV that originally looked like it was going out to scout is actually going to drop a factory. Now you want to drop a proxy factory. Now it's a proxy Thor rush. So the factory will be when you have 100 gas and 150 minerals, obviously, but you have to time it. So let's go back. And this is really only going to be relevant on uh, Ohana because, um, you know, some maps are obviously much bigger. Some maps are a little smaller, like Cloud Kingdom. I think the rush distance is a little lower, shorter. Um, he sent that SCV out at... So pretty much in the base when he decided to leave was right around two and a half minutes. Just think that two and a half, roughly two and a half minutes. Uh, bigger maps, maybe two minutes and 20 seconds. Just pull an SCV take him to a proxy location and in this case he chose right here to build his factory and get it somewhere near the base where that's not easily scouted so another option could be up here or right here or right here and you need somewhere to build a tech lab so just be careful with that and then closing up his wall at 17 supply getting an orbital at 17 as well the timing fits very nicely he does a, does a good job with this taking his SCV up and getting him there at precisely the right time where he has 100 gas, 100, little over 150 minerals, but you know, good timing on that. Well, no, yeah, that's pretty close. I mean, you can't really ask much more of that. Dropping an orbital. There you go. More SCVs. Built a second depot so he can build Marines. And then at the next 50 gas, so this isn't really specifically timing, but when you have the next 50 gas, you get a reactor. In this case, it's after he has, well, he was going to get third marine, but he ends up canceling that and getting a uh, reactor. This second gas came, the second refinery came as he had the money. So, after the reactor, or as you have 70 minerals, build your second gas. It can be you know, about halfway complete of the factory. Uh, that specific timing isn't that important. But let's look at time. We're sitting at 423 right now, 424. So after, uh, right around the time the refinery finishes, he gets another depot. He starts depot production again, supply depot production. Um, so right around 4.30, you're sitting at 290 minerals and 82 gas. So that reactor on the barracks is a good choice because he can double produce marines. Spend some of that, that high mineral count. Once he gets to 100 gas, you build a an armory. So here we go right now and he's trying to proxy it as far away from scan range as possible. I mean honestly I typically scan here. Scan for an expo. 
Sometimes I'll scan right here. I generally don't scan up in the far corner because if there's nothing there, there's nothing that I'm going to scout. So every once in a while I get lucky, I do it, but I generally don't. So 100 gas should get your armory. Okay. Non-stop SCV production. Use this uh, SCV to, you can even queue up a couple supply depots. It's not a big deal. Uh, as you start accruing the gas, you can... He's doing this like little cute stuff where he's moving around on my base, but... Let's see. Just keep producing SCV or supply depots non-stop. The armory needs to be completed. So, right around halfway point, the halfway point of completing the armory, he starts his tech lab. Because, you know, the time difference. And he can't build anything out of that factory until the armory is complete anyway. Notice four marines. Uh, double producing out of the barracks because he has the extra minerals because he's not making anything besides, besides Thor, a Thor when it's time. There you go, first Thor in production. So, a little after five and a half minutes. I think if you tuned it up, you could probably get it 5:30. But, but a little over five and a half minutes. First Thor is on the way. So, we're sitting at 5:45 right now. Um, I did write it down. He ended up getting a five-minute tech lab. So. On that factory, you can um, you can time it just a little bit later though, but it's not not huge. I mean, get it at five minutes if you feel that that'll help your overall play. At the next 100 gas, 100 minerals, he gets plus one armor. Okay, plus one armor. Vehicle plating. Write that down. I actually still write on paper, believe it or not. I know most people don't, and I could pull out my iPhone and uh, type it in that way, but. You know, nothing like a good old-fashioned notepad and a pen. You know, old school country that way. Uh, three depots. Notice the same SCV producing supply depots non-stop. Plus one plating is on the way. So as he gets to, or when he gets to another 200 gas, 300 minerals, the second Thor is in production. And because he's been building supply depots non-stop, he has the supply to do that. And you have to do that, honestly. So there's me poking out, saying, oh, there's Marines. Oh, man, maybe a 111's coming. I'm kind of scared. So let's pause right here. I have a bunker up, uh, getting all my usual stuff. Another barracks, because I'm thinking, well, if he has a 111, I need to be able to poke out, attack it. Uh, as far as units go, 11 versus 9 Marines, so I'm not even ahead on that. Um, I'm sitting in a very bad position, and he has a Thor, and a Thor, I mean, one Thor repaired by SCVs will kill 11 Marines like nothing. Now, I'm a little bit higher on the worker count, but that's because I have two uh, two CCs. I'm behind on the army, the army count, I'm, uh, you know, I, I have a bunker, what's that bunker going to do? Um, my production isn't very good either, I mean, I'm waiting for my reactors to finish up, and timing on these isn't bad, it's just... When you're facing a Thor rush, you need um, you need these reactors immediately, or in fact, three tech labs so you can mass produce marauders and throw them in a bunker, and hopefully focus fire down the uh, SCVs and then kill the Thor, and then then you'll actually probably survive. But if you can't do that, then you lose the game. All right, so back into Izzy Vision. Uh, as far as the mer the SCV pull, so you notice SCVs coming. He pulled the SCVs right at the point that he started production on this second Thor. So we're going to look at that. So right around 640, give or take. So let's say six and a half to seven minutes. And he's going to attack right around seven minutes, a little after. Seven and a half minutes, maybe. Not much else going on. Yeah, seven and a half minutes, boom. Okay, up on my ramp, in my face, it's got eight SCVs repairing, uh, may want to pull ten, I mean it's not a big deal. He still has enough going on at home that he can produce another Thor. Notice he's getting up to the, the point where he's got enough gas, he has enough minerals. Uh, still producing Marines, uh, he could halt production if he needs to. He needs to get a supply depot after that next Thor. Risk under attack. I should, should probably get one right now, but I think he's more focused on killing me. He's in such a good position to do it. And now I'm in panic mode. I'm I'm really panicking. I'm like, oh no, oh shit, there's a Thor. Ah! So now I'm like, I'm fucked. So I got bunkers going down, trying to drop a bunch of bunkers. I don't have any money. And he's got a big giant Thor that I can't kill the Marines because it's mass repaired by SCVs. All right. Now he's just gonna push up and 
wipe my stuff out. Poke up on the ramp. It's got two doors now. It's unstoppable. And that's it. So I'll post a build order in the description. Uh, tell me how you like this uh, this kind of replay. Hit the like button if you like the video. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested. Thanks for watching, guys. Have a good one.